you get to work your butt off. Um, if you think that you're going to go and accomplish something really special and be the best in anything in the world, and you think you can do it without working, you make a big mistake. Because no matter what I did, if it was in bodybuilding or in acting or if it is in, in, in the political arena, uh, it always took a lot, a lot of work. And you got to put out and you got to, you know, sometimes make a lot of sacrifices in order if you're not willing to work hard, forget about it. So this is another rule that is very important. Think big, because then you're going to get big. Then you're going to go and achieve big things. That is the most important thing. You know, we don't achieve big things by accident. So shoot for the top, shoot for the sky, shoot for the, you know, uh, for, uh, for the stars. Don't be afraid to fail. Uh, because if you're afraid to fail, then you're always holding yourself back because you're afraid that if you go all out, you may fail. Well, in weightlifting, we learned that very quickly. The only way you could break a record is if you're willing to fail. That's when you put on more weight, you try it. Sometimes you maybe don't, you would not be able to lift it, uh, which has happened to me many times. But eventually, when you train hard enough, you will lift it. So don't be afraid to fail. I mean, how far can you fall? This is why I try to tell you, anything and everything can be done if you can visualize it, if you believe in yourself. You're going to find the naysayers in every turn that you make. Don't listen. Just visualize your goal, know exactly where you want to go. Trust yourself. Get out there and work like hell. And break some of the rules and never, ever be afraid of failure. Experiencing uh, pain in your muscles and aching and just then go on and go on and then go on and this last two or three or four repetitions That's what makes actually the muscle then grow and that uh, divides then one from a champion and one from not being a champion If you can go through this pain barrier, you make it to be a champion If you can go through, forget it And that's what most people like is on this having the guts the guts to go in and just say I go through and I don't care what happens you know it aches and if I fall down I, I have no fear of fainting in a gym because I know it's it, it could happen I threw up many times while I was working out but it doesn't matter because it's all worth it You know, because I would come home at lunchtime and then instead of having lunch, I would do 200 sit-ups. And then at night, I would go to the stadium and I would be lifting weights. I would come home at 10 o'clock at night and I would be continuing lifting weights. So it was like one of this insanity in the military. I would continue lifting weights no matter how the training was and how tough the basic training was. I would always then lift weights afterwards. And as a tank driver, I would have on the side of the tank in the toolbox, I would have my weights, my barbells, and my dumbbells, and my exercise bench and everything there in order to be at any given time, if we stopped driving the tank and maneuvers at two in the morning, I would be able to pull out my weights and again lift for two hours my weights. So I was really a fanatic about the whole thing, but it's the only way you really get where the way I, I succeeded because uh, uh, I became at the age of 20 the youngest Mr. Universe in London in the history of bodybuilding.